What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really excited today to unbox this brand new Galaxy Tab S10 Plus because personally, this is the first time I have bought a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Of course, I have used a tablet before. I have used the iPads. I have used uh, one of the first uh, Google's Pixel tablets. But when it comes to Samsung, this is the first tab I have got. So let's go ahead and check out this beast here. Now you can see this is a very slim box that we have got. Of course, it's a tab. It has to be slim. And uh, we also have the Yes Pen inside the box. Let's go ahead and check that out as well. It says Galaxy Tab S10 Plus here. And uh, let me just uh, show you the back of this box. Uh, this is manufactured here in India and it is marketed by Samsung India Electronics. And uh, we have got some more information on the sides here. Uh, it says a 12 GB, 256 GB uh, variant here. And this is the platinum silver version we've got. I did like the gray variant, but uh, it was not in stock and I had to get this in a hurry. So I got the silver variant. And here it says, written allowed within 14 days of purchase only in the case of product failure. Now here in India and a few other countries, you cannot use the uh, product for a few days and then return it if you don't like it. Only in the case of damage, you will be able to return the uh, tablet or the phone or any other devices. Uh, I think this is uh, different in some of the countries like US, you will be able to use the phone or these kind of devices for a few days. And if you don't like it, you will be able to return it. Uh, that is what I heard. I'm not very sure about this. You guys let me know how is it in your country can you use the device for a few days and return it if you don't like it or is it otherwise let me know in the comment section now let me also quickly tell you the pricing i have got this here in india at about uh, 73000 rupees after all the discounts i got uh, about 14000 uh, hdfc bank cash back and then there was a store discount so all that including it was about 73000 indian rupees which translates to about 870 united states dollars so that is the price for a 12 gb uh, and 256 gb Variant. Now let's go ahead and uh, break the seal open and check out this beauty here. We've got a seal over here. Let me just break this open. We've got one more on the other side as well. All right, let me just place it over here. Now let me just pull this box off here. Now this is the tab here and inside the box we have got an S Pen. This is a white S Pen we have. Have a look at it closely. It feels pretty light. This is the first time I have a tab. So this is my first experience. Otherwise I did check out these tabs in the stores. But for myself this is the first time I have bought this. Now uh, let's check out this cable as well. This should be the uh, USB Type-C cable. This is in white, of course. And here we have got the SIM ejector tool. Uh, that's all we have got here. Let me keep the S Pen also aside here. It already feels quite slim here. Let me just unwrap this. All right, this is how it comes out. And this looks pretty cool here. This is the silver variant, like I said. We have got the uh, camera module here. We've got two cameras here and the flash. And we have got the Samsung logo uh, here at the bottom right. And we've got a small sticker here. Let me just remove this off. This is 12 GB and 256 GB and a few other information here. Let me throw this aside. Now let's turn on this tablet. Now this screen is pretty good. It looks very slim. We've got thin bezels over here and we've got a front facing camera as well. I'm yet to buy a screen protector and a back case for this. I did not order the keyboard case from Samsung because it's quite expensive and I don't think it is worth it. And I don't think I would be using this tab with a keyboard. Had I bought the larger tab ultra, I would probably need the keyboard uh, case. For this one, I don't need it. So this is what we have. Now this feels pretty good. We have got the volume button on the right hand side on the top right side corner and we have got the power button here and then we have got this slot here this is for the memory card and this is where the sim ejector tool uh, the pin will go in if you have bought an lte variant you will be able to use a sim as well as memory card and if you have only the uh, bluetooth variant you'll be able to use the memory card so this is an expandable storage slot that we have got i have got the uh, bluetooth variant not the lte variant here i think i forgot to mention that now on the left hand side and on the right hand side both sides we have got the speakers here we have got four speaker grills here and then and at the bottom, we have got these pins here for your keyboard. And at the bottom, we have got the USB Type-C slot over here. Now let's go ahead and turn on this tablet and let's see if we have got any juice left here. I'll press and hold on the power button. 
here we go. Let me just tap on start, agree to all. We can use our existing Android device or Galaxy phone to transfer all the applications and other data. Let me do this later. I will use the smart switch to transfer all the data from my Galaxy S24 Ultra to this phone. I'll tap on setup manually. Let me select the Wi-Fi network here. Wi-Fi is connected. I'll tap on next. Now here it says copy applications and data. If you own a Samsung Galaxy phone, it is very easy to copy all the applications and its data to the tablet. You can also do this later. So let me tap on don't copy. I will have to log into Gmail account now. I will just skip this. I will do this later. Tap on more, accept. It says choose your search engine. I'll tap on next. We've got different search engines here. We've got Microsoft, Bing, Google, Yandex, Mojik, Yep, Ecosia, there are multiple uh, different search engines. Let me select Google, tap on next. And you can see we have got face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password, and pattern. We do have a fingerprint sensor on this tablet. We can use the fingerprint sensor as like we use it on the phone. Now for some reason it just moved away. Uh, maybe I will set the fingerprint later. Now here it says one account, any device just for you. Sign in to get started. Uh, we can use our email ID or phone number to sign in or we can just scan this QR code using the a Galaxy phone that we are using. It will instantly transfer all the data. Let me do that. I got the Galaxy S24 Ultra here. Let me uh, open the camera and uh, scan this thing here. It says remote sign in. I have just signed into my account remotely on this tablet. As you can see, I can accept all the terms and conditions. Tap on agree. Tap on more. Next. Agree. Dark mode or light mode. Let me select the dark mode. Tap on next. Uh, if you want this uh, recommended app, you can use it or I'll just deselect this. Tap on next. And that's it. Let's finish this. And here is the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus in all its glory. Let's see how smooth it is. This is the app tray we have the notification panel. Let me increase the brightness a bit here. These are the notifications we have. Google applications. It actually is very, very smooth. Uh, this is 120 hertz display that we have. This is an AMOLED display and the display is crisp and clear. And it's gonna be fun using this tablet for sure. Now, I don't like this look. We will have to transform this tablet and uh, make it look better. We will have to change the app icons maybe or the home screen grid, app screen grid. Uh, all this we are gonna change. We are gonna customize this tablet and uh, come back to you guys probably with the next video. It is definitely gonna be fun. There will be loads of contents coming up on this device. So stay tuned and stay subscribe. Now coming to some of the specifications, this is a 12.4 inches tablet and this has a 266 pixel density which is actually less. On the Galaxy phones we get more than 400 ppi uh, density so that is not the case on the tablet but still it will look pretty cool but not as crisp as the phone screen. Now this is a 120Hz HDR10 Plus dynamic AMOLED display and the resolution is 1752 by 2800 and this comes with MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus uh, which is a 4 nanometer chipset. This is the first time Samsung has come up with MediaTek chipset for a tab, for a premium high-end tab. We are getting MediaTek Dimensity chipset but it seems that this tablet is slightly better than the uh, previous tab, uh, the previous gen tab, the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. In terms of performance and efficiency, this chipset makes this tab a slightly better than the predecessor. Now when it comes to the camera, we are going to get some basic setup here. We have got 13 megapixel uh, camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. That is a dual camera setup we have got on the back and uh, this resembles the uh, camera setup that we have got on the Galaxy phones. And these cameras can record 4K 30fps, not 60fps. And then we have got a selfie shooter, uh, not only for taking pictures, uh, mainly for the uh, video calling. This is 12 megapixel shooter that we have got which is an ultra wide angle lens and even this can shoot at 4k 30 fps as well as 1080p 30 fps we've got four speakers set up here and they are pretty loud i'm not sure whether i'm going to block these speakers while using the tablet i will have to use it for some time and uh, share my experience because these speakers are right here on the sides not on the top or bottom so whenever we are holding the tablet like this we may be blocking these speakers so let's see how it goes now talking about the build quality we have got aluminium frame and aluminium back on this tab and this time Samsung has enhanced the armor aluminium compared to the predecessor and it seems that this has got a Gorilla Glass here. The tab is IP68 dust and water resistant up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes and the stylus latency is about 2.8 millisecond latency so the writing experience using this S Pen is pretty smooth. Then coming to the battery this has got a, a 10,090 mAh battery which is non-removable and the charging speed is 45 watt which is as same as the Galaxy 
Galaxy S24 Ultra. It is going to take a long time to charge this battery because it is twice the size of the Galaxy S24 Ultra and it is the same 45 watt wired charger. So it may take about three to four hours to charge. I'm not very sure. Let me test that as well and come back to you guys with the battery performance results as well as the charging test results. Now the initial impression is pretty cool. The tab looks cool and the media experience is pretty good on this tab. I will be testing all this. I will test the gaming experience, the media consumption and the battery performance and get back to you guys with a review video. So stay tuned for that and I will also be posting a video about tips and tricks and some important applications to be downloaded on this tab and the customization video for this tab to make it look better and I'll also be posting a complete review video about this tablet very soon so stay tuned for these videos. Now I'm quite excited to use this. This is my first Samsung Galaxy Tab. I'm sure you are also surprised. I've been running this channel for more than four years and I haven't bought or haven't used the Galaxy Tab for myself till now. Uh, finally I have got this tab so uh, let me share my experience very soon. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you want to know more about the tablets, the other upcoming videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.